Hi, I'm Christopher Olson with American Rifleman, and this week we have a full-size 9mm Luger from Israeli Weapon Industries, the same folks to make the bullpup Tavor. The Jericho 941 is a double-action, recoil-operated steel frame pistol and is imported through IWI's U.S.-based subsidiary in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Some of you might be thinking that this pistol looks familiar. Well, it is. IWI and its predecessor, IMI, have imported and sold the Jericho under other monikers and through company agreements like the ones with Mossberg and Magnum Research, and under names like Uzi Eagle and Baby Eagle. The Jericho has also found its way into service among myriad agencies across the world, and its proven CZ-75 design and styling lends to its reliability and durability. The gun feeds from a detachable double stack magazine, and this one chambered for 9mm Luger has a 16 round capacity and a magazine that fits flush. The frame on this pistol falls into the full size realm, but not too large to handle comfortably. IWI incorporates thin and rather utilitarian polymer stocks that also sit nicely into the palm. For those looking to upgrade, there is a lot the aftermarket has to offer. Here on the left side of the frame, the magazine release is not bilateral, but does protrude plenty enough to engage and exhibit some of the mild serrations for purchase. Now speaking of serrations, three areas of the frame, from the trigger guard on the front strap, and the back strap serve additional needs of purchase. All right, and looking here at the front of the frame under the beveled dust cover is an adequate section of accessory rail, which is a nice feature on a full-size pistol like this. On the left side of the frame, you'll find a frame-mounted safety selector for which I prefer. A takedown of the pistol is straightforward. Simply retract the steel slide roughly an eighth inch backwards to where these two dimples line up, and while holding this position, depress the takedown pin from the gun's right side and once they're pressed, looking on the left side, simply pull the pin and the slide is ready to remove. Inside you'll notice a full length guide rod and a single recoil spring that nests against the gun's 4.4 inch barrel. Assembly of the slide is in reverse order. Notice while installing the slide and frame how the two mate. The slide rails on the outside of the slide which grab the inside of the frame. This creates a lower bore axis and it is a design seen on the CZs. On top of the slide there's a set of combat style white three dot sights that are drift adjustable. A long series of serrations running the length of the slide seem to cut glare and draw the eye to the sights when coming into picture. Now on the gun's right side you'll notice an external extractor just forward of the cocking serrations. One thing with this pistol's design that takes a slight bit of getting used to is the slide height and doing basic gun manipulations. Making sure a positive grasp on the slide is important to ensure that the slide is fully racked to load and function. Shooting the gun under double action trigger pull, we found the trigger to be a little heavy, but not horrible at 11 pounds. With first shot double action and each subsequent shot needing a five pound pull, the single action trigger feels good. The gun's weight combined with its nine millimeter Luger chambering and the overall design contribute to its pleasant feel on the range. This IWI Jericho 941 is safe for plus P and plus P plus ammunition for those wanting to get the most out of the cartridge. And for those looking for a service grade, reliable firearm built by an Israeli company known for their quality firearms, look no further. For more on IWI and guns like this, visit iwi.us and stay tuned to AmericanRifleman.org.